example three here is about the direct shear test. Um, for this example, direct shear tests were performed on dry sandy soil. And the size of the specimen is given to you. It's two by two, which is basically the cross-sectional area of the specimen in 0.75 inch, that's the height of the specimen. And the test results are summarized in this table. You have four sets of test results, one, two, three, four here. And for each test, uh, you, have, uh, you are given the normal stress from which you can calculate the normal effective stress sigma prime, which is basically normal force over a cross-sectional area A. So that's the normal stress. And then you also, uh, you're also given the shear force at failure from which you can calculate the shear stress at failure. So that's what we call tau F. And then our uh, task is to find the shear stress parameters. For uh, the shear stress parameters, um, there are two. One is the C prime, the other one is phi prime here. And for dry sandy soil, we know that C prime is basically zero for dry sandy soil. So what we need to look for is basically this phi prime uh, value here, the effective or drained friction angle. And the way to get this uh, phi prime is we're going to use this uh, direct shear test results plotted on this sigma versus tau uh, plot. For each test, we have a pair of stress values. So we have the sigma, um, the normal stress, and we have the shear stress at failure tau f. So for each test, we can plot this pair of data on this sigma versus tau plot. And then we can fit a straight line through this data point. And this straight line is going to pass the origin because the C prime value for dry sand is zero. And this is basically what's shown on this graph here. Each data point here represents uh, one result, uh, represents result from one test. So you have for each data points, that's a pair of um, shear stress or normal stress sigma prime versus shear stress at failure tau f. And the straight line you feed through this data point is basically your more coolant failure envelope. So that's your more coolant failure envelope. Again, because this is dry sand, C prime is approximately, it's basically zero. So that's why this line fits through this uh, origin. And the slope of this line is the drained or effective stress friction angle phi prime. And you can directly read the slope of this line from this fitted envelope, or, or simply you can calculate using any two points on this line. And from the curve, you get C prime is zero and phi prime is 32 degrees.